On today's Try to Finish Something, I just put out a video talking about doing these videos around my full-time job and announcing that I was doing just one video a week just the Tuesday video. So this will be my last Friday video. But some of you had asked what it is I do for a living and what is my full-time job since I no longer do radio. And I used to own a background music company called Retail Radio and we sold that business to another company and I still do the same thing for that company. I listen to a lot of up-and-coming bands. I get music from a company called What's In Store Music. I screen that music, see what stuff I like, and play that stuff in stores. And one of the bands that had sent us a song was AJR. They had the song Bang, and I played that song before radio played it. And that song went on to have platinum status. You've heard the song on the radio. Well, the band, to thank me for the success, Look at that, they sent me a platinum record. A platinum record from AJR as a thank you. I thought that was pretty cool. But on today's build, in one of my nerd groups, Ben had some pictures from Galaxy's Edge, something that I saw live when I was there. In Rise of the Resistance, the entire base is carved out of rock and they have some actual walls, but all of the power is supplied with these cables that are all over the ceiling and they have these wiring harnesses. And I'm going to do a Star Wars build in my build room and I think a wiring harness and a bunch of exposed wires would be great to separate the Star Wars side from the normal side of my room. So I'm going to build wiring harness supports and cabling. That's what I'm going to do on today's Try to Finish Something. Having just visited Galaxy's Edge myself and looking at Ben Thornburg's pictures, I sketched out my design in Inkscape and I am printing them on the Glowforge. This could easily be done with a jigsaw, but I'm just being lazy. And I've got the thing, I might as well use it. My concept for my design room is much like the ride Rise of the Resistance at Disneyland, a base cut out of rock with some built walls and some exposed rock and when you wire something like that you've got a lot of exposed wiring because it just hangs on the rock wall oh yeah and i'm not building a rebel base this will be empire all the way so now that i have all of my panels cut i need to make sure that the cardboard tube i'm using for the wiring conduit will fit and it does Okay, so I'm just peeling the protective backing off of these panels that I laser cut. I'm going to make three, one at each end and one in the middle to hold my wiring loom. And you're right, I did cut out more than three, but I'm going to add some bulk to the middle support. Again, cheating using the laser cutter. I made some strips of particle board and I'm going to layer these with a panel, edge strips, panel, edge strips, panel, you, you get the idea, right? I'm just cutting these strips with a small saw and super gluing them in. So that tube is from a leftover yard project I did when I put in fake grass. I've told you before, I save everything. On the centerpiece, I'm going to attach a small bracket that I cut from a scrap piece of 2x4. I'll glue it on for now, but I'll probably add some screws into it for strength later. I'm thinking of adding a ridge like in Ben's picture around the edge of my bracket and I was thinking of using EVA foam, just floor mats like Odin and James use, but I haven't done a lot with foam, but the flexibility would be perfect. But I'm going to need to glue together two of these. And while that barge dries, I'm going to add some greeblies to the 2x4 that I have on there to fancy it up a bit.
All right, the barge is dry enough to put together and the seam looks pretty good. Time to see how this looks as banding for my bracket. Eh, I don't like it. <laughs> oh well. I, I think I like it better without that foam. Nothing against foam, I just think the bracket looks better. I have my three panels completed now. Time for some painting. Alright, I wasn't rolling on the camera. I'm an idiot. I painted them first with some gray latex paint just using a chip brush. I want the sloppy paint lines to make it look like these were hand painted. Then I sprayed them with yellow and did a little bit of overspray with brown to start myself on the weathering process. Now to bring them inside and to really weather them. I have done a lot of chipping with toothpaste on the channel and the last chipping paint job I did with masking fluid. More money than you need to spend, stick with toothpaste or you could do it this way. I'm going to weather this with brown and black water-based oil paints using a trashed brush and a paper towel. And I am chipping it, I'm making air quotes when I say that, chipping it using cheap black craft paint. I'm just using a small brush that I cut the bristles down on. If you do this, you don't want the brush strokes of painting and you want it to look really random. So what I do is I load up the brush with paint and I dab it on poking it into the surface so that I have less control. And I want that. Make sure you have a lot of paint on the brush and keep it really random.
I will add some scratches with the same craft paint and I will let that dry a bit and move on to the next panels. Oh yeah, the other thing I did with a small brush, get a bit of the watered down brown and drag some drips and streaks down in a few places and I flicked the paintbrush to add some splatter. Why? I, I have no idea. I just think it really looks cool. All right, I'm going to attach the first end plate to the wall. I'm doing all of this wiring harness first to give me an idea the size of the canvas that I have to work with on the Star Wars side of this room. Once this is up, this will be the end of the Star Wars side and then just normal room on the other. For now, <laughs> I have a feeling I'll eventually change my mind. All right, screwing that directly to the wall using yellow deck screws and it's up. I will do the same for the other side, and in the middle, I put a few screws through the L bracket and straight up into the ceiling. Oh yeah, I decided I didn't like the cardboard tube since it filled the entire circle, so I'm using a corrugated drainage pipe instead, and I cut up a black rubber hose. My wife will be looking for that later. Some drip line in there and some corrugated tubing. I will keep adding wires to this. I want it really full of wires and I need to do something to the ends where it meets the wall, but I'm calling my Star Wars cave base wiring harness finished. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe and share it with someone. And if you didn't, as always, just keep it to yourself and we'll see you next time as we try to finish something. <laughs>